So Luke is our hero, but Luke is uh, far from what we normally uh, assume a hero would be. Right. Which is why Han Solo is the coolest. In his name, it's like, cool, I'm alone. Right. You know? I, I, Leia, relax. But you know what? He just kind of, he goes after Leia pretty hard. See, I wish Leia met like another girl who Han had f and is just yeah. like, I'm just with this guy named Han. Wait, Han Solo? Did he use the whole gotta go pay Jabba trick? <gasps> yes. yes. When kids idolize heroes, mm -hmm. you want them to idolize people that, that they would respect. Sure. I think they idolize Luke Skywalker because they learn if you complain enough, Mm -hmm. then you'll become a hero. Yeah, I thought he was a teenager. I thought he was probably like 15 or 16 years old, but he's so whiny. He's like, I want to go to the Tahashi station to pick up some power converters with my friends, right? Yeah. I bet there's no friends. There, are, there is no there's friends. There's no friends. We never see one friend. No, no one's been like, hey, can Luke come out and play? Yoda, way cooler, better fighter, just all around better person, would hang out at a bar and drink a beer with him, no problem. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Way better fighter, way more fun, would hang out and have a beer with him. Luke Skywalker, I don't want to go near him. No, I'd be like, sorry, I'm over at the Tahashi station getting some power converters, sorry, of can't, can't I make it. Old Ben. Old Ben. One of the first lessons you teach people mm -hmm. is don't talk to strangers. Agreed. And after like three minutes of chatting with Luke, he's like, mm -hmm. you must come with me to Alderaan. It's like, that's like, in, in now times, yes. that's like saying, you must come in my big blue van. It is. Are oh, you looking for your father? Oh, I know him. Come with me in the van. So kids are basically, they watch three movies and they're like, if I want to go on an adventure, I've got to find a weird nicknamed man and travel with him to a far off place. That's not a good lesson. No, it's not. Okay, so Han Solo, right? Um, everybody, everybody loves this guy, but like, he's super cocky. Do you know what Han Solo is? Han Solo is literally, uh, him and the Millennium Falcon are the equivalent of a guy who has souped up a Honda Civic yeah. and is just hanging out in a Tim Hortons parking lot. Totally. And is like, trust, this Civic is sweet. I put speakers in it, yeah. I got lights on the bottom. And Get Chewie's it. his dumpy friend, like down the block. Although I do think Chewbacca is in love with Han. And that's why, uh, that's why you never see any like really lovely Chewie and Leia scenes. You don't. Because Chewie's always just giving her cut eye. In the special edition, you don't see it. But Chewie pulls out a gun. Of course he does. And goes towards Leia and Han's like, not now. Oh wow. Yeah. Maybe later though. Maybe later. The Death Star. Yes. Yeah, like the biggest power station mm -hmm. in the universe. Luke, who didn't know about the Force. No idea. Earlier that day. No. Nope. Basically. And he's never been in an X-Wing. He puts on a helmet, uses a lightsaber once, and all of a sudden he can shut his eyes and shoot missiles into the ultimate power of the universe. Go f yourself, buddy. I agree, I agree. However, you do have voice of Obi-Wan in your ear. Yeah, Obi-Wan's probably up in heaven, just hanging out, yeah. like watching the game. Of and then he it's is. someone's like, Luke's in trouble. He's like, oh fuck. Oh Luke, you, you know what I'm gonna say. Use the force. Just use it again. Just use it, use it. Stop not using it. Use I it know. all the time. I know. These Jedi ghosts are so selective in where they come in and what they do. Yeah. If you can talk to other Jedi's, I completely just fuck with Vader the entire I would, time. The whole time. Stay on the leader. I've got you now. No. What? What are you up to? Obi-Wan. I am about to have my vengeance. Oh. I'm just in the tub with bubbles. What? Thinking about you, naked. Obi-Wan, this is not the time. All right, Darth, I'll leave you be and let destiny play out. All right, Luke. I'm- Psych. What? Psych. Hey, do you know what psych means? Stop psyching me. I've got to focus on the Empire. Darth, your children, they kissed each other. <laughs> Think about that. Stop it. Stop it immediately! Well then why don't you shoot at him? It's not like Han's right behind you. So the throne room scene at the end of A New Hope. Yes. Um, yeah, so we've got Luke and Han both get medals. Both get medals. Um, Chewie gets no medal. No medal. 3PO and R2 get a wash. They just get a shine. They just get a quick shine. Leia did just as much, if not more. Where's her medal? Why, yeah. why does she have to be the... 
Miss America of the whole pageantry and just put the medals on. Slip one on yourself, my lady friend. It's, it's really not great because all of the people in the crowd have been working on this project for years. I know, again. I know. And everyone's just like, who the fuck is Luke? Chewbacca, he was there. Okay? He was there. It's racist. Or speciest. Yeah. Because I work. think there was a little like, what do we do about Chewbacca? Yeah, because you don't want to upset him. Because he's huge, so you don't want to upset him. Yeah. But it does, it really sends a strong message that if you are a non-human helping out, you are not as important. And when they turn around and Chewie lets out this huge growl and everyone's like, oh, Chewie. But he's really saying, go f yourselves.